An Antarab state government has announced plans to establish a task force team to address issues related to illegal possession of firearms, dangerous weapons, drug abuse and various criminal activities among youth and women in the state. This initiative was revealed during the 2024 Taraba Youth and Women Mobilization and Awareness Summit, which aims to shift the mindset of young people and women away from criminal activities in order to promote development. A correspondent, Jude Nuhu Gunjale, filed in this report. Young people and women from various associations have united to address issues such as illegal firearms possession, drug abuse and youth crime which contribute to insecurity and hinder development. These determined individuals in Taraba State are the future leaders who refuse to perpetrate these problems. They are fully committed to collaborating with law enforcement agencies in order to combat these issues with the ultimate objective of creating safe communities for everyone. It is imperative that we work in tandem with the law enforcement agencies to stem the tide of illegal arms trafficking and ensure that our neighborhoods remain safe havens for all. Law enforcement agencies have emphasized that the involvement of young people and women in criminal activities discourages investors and leads to unemployment, while other speakers advocate the establishment of support systems for victims. A crime that is connected to to smuggling of arms and ammunition, which is done mostly through the borders, and mostly in connection with some migrants who are using some of the youths in Nigeria. It is essential to raise awareness about the dangers of illegal drugs and substance abuse, and advocate for the creation of support systems for those affected by drug addiction. The presence of the state governor at Bukhafus at the event showcases his confidence in effectively addressing drug abuse, crimes, and ensuring the state becomes a secure place for both residents and investors. The government, just as you witnessed in this summit, is setting up a tax force to start going around villages, communities, to see how they can bring together these youths that are into these vices to know what are their problems, to know why they are doing that, and to see how they can be rehabilitated uh, away from this. And I must tell you, there are laws that are already on the stream to see how these youths, once they are taken out of that place, they can be useful not only to themselves but even to the community. Research indicates that a significant number of individuals involved in criminal activities in Toronto State are university graduates. Therefore, it is imperative that the ongoing campaign to raise awareness against crime is not superficial, but is supported by government-provided employment opportunities. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.